Hello, welcome to Sleepy Squid. My name is Lawrence, and in this series of tutorials, I'm going to be covering how to get started with Nike Shoebot. So first, after you've purchased your Nike Shoebot, you'll probably receive an email which lists out your activation token and your license key. Um, this email will usually come from support at nikeshoebot.com. So just copy those over to a clipboard and we'll hold on to those for later. All right, so once you have that copied over, just to make sure you have the right um, specs needed to actually run the bot, um, according to the documentation from Nike Shoebot, they recommend uh, having a minimum spec of four gigs of RAM and two core CPUs, or the recommended spec is to have at least six gigs of RAM and four core CPUs. Um, and if you aren't really sure how to check that, um, if you're on Windows, uh, one easy way to do that is open up the file explorer and just right click on the PC and click on properties. Now here you can actually see it actually lists out um, your specs. So here on this computer, it looks like I have 13 gigs of RAM and 2.2 gigahertz of CPU. So it looks like we're good there. Just install the Nike Shoebot and then open it up. So if this is your first time actually opening up the bot, it'll actually prompt you to enter your license key and your activation token. And that's what we copied earlier. So I'm going to copy this real quick. So after you've copied your license key and activation token, just click activate. So after you click activate, this will just authenticate to make sure that you actually have a valid um, version of the bot and you've actually purchased it from them. So once it's done validating your token, um, this is what Nike shoe bot will look like. So you have the logo on the left right here and you, you, it might seem empty right now because you don't really have any tasks and there's the different tabs. There's tasks, proxies, billing, captcha, monitors, profile, cop. Um, now it might seem overwhelming with all these different options because you don't really know what they are. Um, but don't worry about it and in future videos we'll cover each individual um, tab and just cover all the bases that you need to know um, so don't worry about it too much so right now I'm just I just want to you know give you a quick tour of the different tabs I won't really go in depth because it will have specific videos for those um, but for now if you're on the task tab if you want to create a task a task is pretty much just um, you're just telling the bot what exactly you want it to do. So what sites you want it to actually try to cop the sneaker on. So here in the create task, you'll, you will select the site that you want to, you want it to target and the different modes you want it to actually cover like the link, uh, the keywords, the billing profile you want it to use, um, proxies, and these are different, different options. Um, I don't want to get, get too in depth right now with that, but just keep that in mind that when you're creating tasks, this is where you would do it. Um, proxies, th this is where you enter your proxies. So you just add a proxy list, you give it a name, you enter a whole bunch of proxies here. And the nice thing about Nike Shoebot is you can actually, um, validate the format or you can, uh, check, you know, how, how quick your bot is connecting to the, each of those, um, proxies. Um, billing billing is just where you'll put in all the billing uh, profiles so a billing profile is just you know listing out um, what the bot should use when it's trying to actually make the purchase and where it should actually send the shoe to so you'll have your shipping address um, your billing address and then the the, the, uh, the profile of the card that you want to use so here this is just a dummy card um, and then the email you want it to actually um, send you a notification to once it's actually made the purchase. And here you can actually specify whether you want it to check out only once, um, check out once per site, once per once per site per item. And we'll we'll go in in, in detail in future videos with this. Um, captcha. Um, if you're unfamiliar what captchas are, don't worry. Um, captures are pretty much just, I, I'm sure you, you've come across this, but on sites where um, you want to like enter um, your information or you want to fill something out, or if you want to submit a form, you'll sometimes get prompted to um, specify, oh, are you a bot or not? And you'll have to actually click the checkpoint.
So I'm trying to see if I can open this up. It's kind of slow right now. Um, we'll get that a second. So monitors, monitors are pretty much just, um, there are these uh, channels where it will monitor to see if a site has dropped a specific item. And basically if it's dropped a specific item, it will automatically create a task for you here. Um, so you can create tasks that uh, keep track of these different monitor channels um, and just try to create a task for you automatically if a site um, does like a shock drop or they um, restock or something like that. Uh, profile tab will just list out, you know, what your current version is. You can check for updates here um, and how long your key will actually last for. And then the cop tab will just list out all of your recent um, success uh, cops. So if you want to, you know, uh, brag about all the you know new purchases that you just made here, well, you, you can actually go to this tab and it'll list out all the purchases that you've recently done. So that pretty much covers everything you need to know. Um, be sure to leave me a comment below if there were any confusions and I'll be sure to answer as many questions as I can. And also if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and put on your push notifications so that way when uh, future videos come out, you can be notified. Um, as always, thank you for watching and be sure to leave a like if you found this video helpful. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.